Hey everyone, welcome back. I am continuing my series of painting the female figure in the classic Renaissance style. I am just using one paint for the whole painting, which is burnt umber. I love the effect of monochromatic artworks, whether that's black and white or any other color. I feel like it really allows the true essence of the artwork to shine through. Eventually I will move on to full colour painting but for now I'm really enjoying this sepia tone. This really warm tone really reminds me of the Renaissance and the early drawings from Da Vinci and Michelangelo. I have also decided to censor this video because I really don't want to get into any problems with YouTube or with my videos being taken down. On Instagram I've had a lot of issues with my content wasn't being recommended anymore and it really is a little bit disheartening because you put so much effort into putting the content together and sharing it online. But if you are interested in purchasing any of my artworks, please send me an email and I can give you a full image of the finished artwork and potentially send it out to you. As I worked my way through this artwork, I was able to figure out a whole range of new techniques that I haven't really found before. And because this technically is using the techniques of an underpainting or a grisaille, I decided to use the technique of laying on paint and then taking it away with a rag so for parts of the hair I've used my fingernail to scratch away different parts of the canvas and then in other areas I have really gone back to my drawing roots and I ended up just picking up an eraser for some parts of the canvas where I felt like I went too far with the paint and so that has actually been working really well and I love the effect of it because the eraser actually pushes the paint into the canvas um, and takes a layer off as well so it's really funny to be using an eraser in a painting but I just couldn't help myself it's just the tool that I know and that I love and I know how to use it. I have gotten to the point in my career where I'm really looking for a gallery to represent me because having that support from a gallery is something I've always dreamed of so I'm really working towards that at the moment and I have also been working on quite a few artworks at one time which has been really helpful for me to not overwork the one and keeps it really fresh in the studio as well and so you probably have been able to see a lot of different artworks in the studio. I really am loving this approach of bringing up multiple artworks at the same time. You guys know that I am a completely self-taught artist. I have learned everything I know by finding it online, doing online courses and teaching myself. And that's why I'm so proud to be partnering with Skillshare for this video. They have such a huge library of online courses and learning content and you could pretty much learn just about anything with their content. Recently I took this class by Sarah McKendry. She is a Canadian realist painter and her introduction into landscape painting has been really interesting and she keeps a really limited palette which I think is really important especially if you're just starting out with painting. This really just breaks it down into a really simple and easy to understand way. Painting landscapes is also something that I've been really wanting to do over the last couple of years so this is a really good introduction for me and I really couldn't recommend this class enough. The first 500 people to sign up with my link get a free one month trial so you really don't have anything to lose so make sure you check out the link in my description.